Spy Family episode 24 is here titled The Role of a Mother and Wife slash shopping with friends. So just another two-parter episode before we get into the final one. So let's jump into the reaction and then the discussion. Welcome to Nonstop Antonio, where I talk about everything nerdy. I love Marvel, DC, and anime. And if you do too, I hope you enjoy this video. If we're starting with the intro, you know this episode's going straight into a banger. That's usually how it goes. Your stop looking so sad. I don't like you looking sad. Come on. Ah, oh, she walked into a... <laughs> Even when she looks sad, they do something funny like that. God damn. Oh, Yor, what's the matter? Ah, uh, no, you're not, Yor. You just kicked Nightfall's ass. What are you talking about? Yor, no, don't think like that. <gasps> Twilight's in the background. Oh, he's going to get so screwed. Oh, my God. Twilight's going to panic now. Oh, uh, he's going to get rid of Nightfall. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, Frankie and Anya having a cute little fucking spy game thingamajig. I bought a frisbee for the goodest boy around. Bond. <laughs> Come on, Frankie. You have a great. You're having a great time with Anya. Don't. Oh, don't whine about. Don't whine about that. You have a great, a great time with Anya every time you're around. Even though he looks all sad, uh, all even though he says he's annoyed, he still wants to hang out. Uh, Yor, well, stop thinking that way. Stop thinking that way. Yor, come on. <laughs> oh, Yor, you're just gonna be freaking out. No, Yor, no, 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 no. Just having a hard time saying it. Yeah, it's because you're secretly in love with him. Yes, it's because you do. It's because you yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, she got so goddamn drunk in two seconds there. <laughs> Must be rough. Oh my god. But you, you shed. I don't know why. Oh my god. Yes, it's jealousy. She's jealous. I'm yes, yes, hundred percent. I'm not I'm not questioning anything about it. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no taking advantage. Twilight, Twilight, I know you might be saying you're lying, but I don't trust it. You're hundred percent telling the truth. Oh my god! She just sent him flying! Oh my god, of course, just elegant. Backflip, land, easy peasy. That was true rejection! Oh my god, the were- Oh my god, Twilight's now panicking. I love how yours just panicking because she didn't know what to do. Twilight thinks she's a spy now. This is just going down the wrong way. <laughs> Your, I don't know the rest of the words. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> A muscle head woman? What? Nah. Come on, Twilight. Tell your true feelings. Don't don't try to make it some ploy again. Be honest. Be a good person. Aww. 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 Now tell you sure feelings, you goddamn imbecile. You know, she, she, he might think that she doesn't actually have feelings, but... Yours in love, I'm calling her right now. I, you know, honestly, if they found out they're both similar roles, like, she's, he's a spy, she's an assassin. Bro, they're, they're made, they're a match made in heaven, okay? You got two badasses who can easily kick anyone's ass. York could take a little bit less than the assassin side, but, like, hey, they're good. <laughs> Mostly from Becky. Oh, Anya. Frankie, why do you ask a question like that? That's kind of that's kind of sus. 
<laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god, I love it. Like he's not she's not look 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 I told you she's attached to the family. Look, she's in love. I don't care. I don't care if they say they're not in love, they're in love. That's just saying right now. They might they might not know what their true feelings are, but hundred percent they are. Oh my god, of course you forgot everything. So they had to talk all over again. I love it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Stella storyline. We've kind of taken a step back from the Stella storyline. Anya has sort of given up on the eight stars. Oh my god, Anya just cannot do anything right apparently in school. Oh my god, Becky. Love? <laughs> Anya, oh my god. Hey, little Anya and Becky adventure? Okay. I'm in. <laughs> oh, Becky wanted to see Lloyd. <laughs> Lots of cold hard cash. She just pulls out a big wad of cash. How many peanuts can I buy with this? Oh my god. Classic Anya. Who needs clothes when you got peanuts? <laughs> that one's cold hard cash. Evil masterminds. Oh my god. Gotta love gotta love Anya. Rented out the whole department store. So uh, Becky's rich rich. I see. She's got a peanut. She got a peanut peanut shirt. Oh my god. It's an Anya. It's an Anya fashion show. What's going on with the, those ones? Ah. Oh. Cyborg from the future. That is perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. What? You can't even see her face. She looks like a Pokemon in that last one. <laughs> Fashion is hard. <laughs> she's. Oh my god. She's a fine clothes to dress nice for Lloyd. It's so funny how you have this, this kid who's just in love. It's so adorable. Just wearing yours clothes. <laughs> Becky just buys everything on is like, ah, yeah, I'm good. They should bring a shopping cart around, you know? Her little, uh, her, her driver's getting a little bit too much stuff there. <laughs> Anya's dead. Oh my god. Fashion is hard. Anya praise. Fashion is hard. Aww. Did Becky just question if they're friends? They hang out every day. They talk. They're in school. What? Aww, the driver's happy that Becky has a friend. Aw, that's so nice. Wow, her her uh, family feels a uh, real pain in the ass. Aw, Anya bought one for her too. Aw, like she couldn't buy it herself, but uh, if she gets given it as a gift, she can't say no. Oh, they forgot why they went shopping. Oh my god, that was a nice little fun adventure. Well, fun adventure shopping with the kids. Anya has her first real friend. Aww. Flashback to when she was a kid. She apparently was a mean little girl. I feel like she was forced to grow up from her family. Like, her parents made her be, like, this big adult as a child, and she never really worked. And then she met Anya. She got a friend. Especially a weird friend who does whatever she wants, but she met a friend who will help her open up and be more of a kid. Anya's the best. She's a great person. She's get Just this with 300... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, just spent a lot of money just for a little little souvenir. Morning. Oh, they both have it on their backpack. How nice. Damien already has a little crush on them. They don't even know that. Damien already has a small crush on the weird girl's school. Ah, oh, so cute. Ah, oh, it's over. I feel like there's only one episode left. Actually, before we go on the discussion, what did what what mission's next? Twilight finally comes face to face with the dude they've been trying to see this entire time. Oh, we'll see what happens next. I honestly thought that Spy Family would have a little bit more leading up to the final of the season, because I believe next episode is the final. I believe there's only 25 episodes this season, and it feels like not a lot happened. It's, it's like a really fun, wholesome show. I love seeing Anya go on her little adventures. I like seeing the dynamic between Twilight and Yor and how their family is really becoming a family. However, I thought there'd be more Bond this season, other than him just kind of being in the background. I thought Anya and him would go on a little bit more adventures or something along those lines. I really like the show. It's really wholesome. It's really fun. It puts a smile on my face, and it's really 
like enjoyable to watch. I mean, I'm used to more action-based shows, so like when there's not a lot of action, I'm questioning why, like especially when there's spy involved, like it feels like there should be a little bit more action some days, but it's still fun. Like seeing Yor get jealous over Nightfall is fun to watch. And it makes, it just keeps making me think that Yor, she loves her life. She loves where she comes home to. And I'm 100% sure she's in love with Twilight. She doesn't know how to express that. Well, Twilight seems like he probably has feelings for Yor, but he's so conflicted when it comes to like, he's just thinking on the mission. He's just thinking how to do this. He's thinking how to do that. Like he only thinks of mission and work that he doesn't realize the feelings that are inside of him. Because all he only thinks about is, oh, how, how is this gonna mess up the mission? Oh, she thinks this, I'm gonna get arrested. Like, she's not, he doesn't know how to project what's really going on. He just kind of focuses on work and that's it. Because I feel like if anything happened to Anya or Yor, he's jumping into action, he's going to save them. He'll try to hide his identity, but then in the end it will be shown. That's honestly what I thought this was gonna lead into, but we'll see next episode what happens because they're finally meeting the dude that they've been trying to get, Damien's father, this entire time. So something along those lines is gonna happen or something along the lines, something interesting is gonna happen next episode, especially if it's a season final, I feel like something big has to happen. And I feel like it's going to end on a cliffhanger in a sub-season 2, if there's a season 2 to this show. That's my thoughts anyways. But overall, this episode was really fun. I really, like I said, I really like seeing Yor and Twilight kind of have their marriage problems, where there's not really a problem. They just kind of both seeing things differently and don't realize that they're, they're both thinking the same. They're both thinking the worst possible outcome, but literally neither of that's going on. And I liked Anya's little shopping mall fun time with uh, Becky. You know, she has a friend. She has a real friend. Becky now has a real friend. It's really adorable to watch they're just having fun going and you know being like learning how to have friends as well like these kids are just thrown into these lives where their parents are just expecting the best out of them except Anya like all the other kids like they all they, they all they all try to impress their parents Becky's trying to act as an adult for her parents no she ha can't have she has to dress the finest she can't have any toys which is kind of sad for a kid but Anya doesn't give a shit she fails in school she acts like a child and she does whatever the hell she wants and She's helping out everyone around her by being a little, being a little shithead at times, but also having fun and really showing the other kids how to have fun. I really like where this show is taking these characters. I just wish we got more of them some episodes, and I'm just really having a good time watching it. If you've never read the manga and you're just watching the anime like me, do you think Yor and Twilight are secretly in love? Because I, I'm curious, because I think that's what's going on. I'm curious if anyone else thinks that's what also is going on. So let me know down in the comments. And if you like my anime react for Spy Family episode 24, hit the subscribe button for more, hit the like button, it helps the channel out a lot. And if you want to see any of, the, any of the other episodes, check my playlist down below and it'll take you right there. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.